What's up? Doing another video where I just like sit down and I talk about shit. Uh, the last one where I talked about Melee. Thank you. I was amazed by how well that video was received. You know, I was expecting some shit to go down. No. Uh, like, you know. There were a couple people who disagreed, but like a massive majority of the people who disagreed with me on my Melee vid were like, yeah, I disagree, but I get it. Uh, here's my opinion, and a very good argument to why mine is my opinion. Uh, and yeah, it's cool that you like video game, and I appreciate the fuck out of that. And also, on top of that, even though it's one of my lesser viewed videos, it's one of the ones where the most people have, like, spoken out to me. Like, they've they've come up and been like, yo, it's pretty fucking cool, thank you. I, I feel the same, you know? There were a couple people who were, like, you know, dumb about it. Like, I don't mean, like, I'm not saying that if you disagree, you're dumb. But you get a couple people who were like, You fucking complain about Wario Kill at 50, and then you fucking say, Jigglypuff Kill at 0, you fool, you cretin. And it's like, no, that's not the point I was saying. My favorite one, oh, oh, there was one comment I fucking loved. You can tell this guy, there was someone who left a comment, like, chatting a mad amount of shit, right? About my Melee video. And then they comment a second time on something I say, like, 3 minutes and 30 seconds into the video. So, you can tell they, like, don't watch the video, comment chatting shit, and then they start watching it and chat shit about something else. I don't know. I do really appreciate how that video went down, though. Uh, and there were things I probably could have worded better. Like, I probably should have said my favorite balance instead of best, because it's not, like, objectively the best balanced. I just kind of love it. <laughs> um, and, of course, 99% of the people who disagree, you're cool, I get it. That's completely fair. It's just there's some people that are kind of funny, you know? Anyways, what are we talking about today? Street Fighter V. I fucking love Street Fighter V. And I'm talking about the fact that Street Fighter V redesigned a lot of characters. Like, shook up how they played significantly. Uh, it's a bit divisive, the fact it did that. I love it. I'm the kind of person that, like, you know, when a new fighting game in a series comes out and they're adding new characters and shit... Nine times out of ten, I am down for new characters over, like, returning characters. Like, if you ask me who I thought the next, the final character in Street Fighter V is gonna be, at no wage that shit's a returning character. If the last character for Street Fighter V is, like, someone coming back, that would be pretty fucking lame. Unless it's, like, Q. I think Q would make sense, just because, like, you know, how mysterious they are. But if it's someone like fucking Fei Long... It was just a fucking guy? That would be so lame. I feel like it's gotta be a guest character or a new character, but that's just me. Um... But yeah, 9 times out of 10, I am down for new characters. And I think redesigning a character is a really nice, like, workaround, you know? You know, it makes both sides happy. So anyway, let's go on to this. So, these are the tiers. Perfection is where I think this is, by a long shot, the best version of the character. And I absolutely adore their design, and then you can kinda see... You might notice that Not Great is the worst here. I don't think anyone has a terrible redesign in this game. There's one or two that I'm just, like, not certain of, but we'll, 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 we'll go on to it. We'll take away. First up, Chun-Li. You could argue... there. sorry. Chun-Li's redesign in this game wasn't, like, major. Uh, they got rid of Hazanshu, Hazan which is fine. My Ken back is her V-Skill too, and it sucks ass, but, like, no one really cares. Um, Lightning Legs in the Air, I think, was really cool. I don't know. I really like how Chun-Li plays in Street Fighter V. She's never been bad. She was busted when the game came out, but then she just went to, like, alright, and then she's been slowly getting better and better. Uh, I like both her V-triggers. I think they're great. Um, I think this is probably my favorite Chun-Li. Like, I know I'm a Chun player in Third Strike. Se second best, am I right, guys? Only top two. <laughs> uh, you, you fucking got me. Y'all got me on the Chun video. Fucking, like, I love the comments, like, I could tell you're a chum player because you put her at second. Yeah. Like, you got me. You got me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like what they did with Chun-Li in this game. Really fun character. I like that she keeps aspects of her third strike design while not being as lame. Uh, I'm, I'm always down for a bit of lame, but, you know, some parts of Chun-Li and third strike went a bit too far. And, and, thank fuck... Thank fuck that you can do lightning legs with quarter circle forward kick. I fucking hate mash specials. Fuck Honda's hands. Fuck Ed's hands. I wouldn't, but like, you know. Fuck Blanca's... Whatever the fuck he does. Fuck, dude, fuck you, Blanca, you big green bitch. Fucking... Ugh. 
I hate them. I hate mash specials. They feel really unsatisfying to do, in my opinion. And that's why I love that chun -Li can do hers with quarter circle forward and kick. I, 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 it's a shame that she's the only one who does it, but you know. Okay. Nash. In Alpha, Nash is kind of just Guile. With, like, a few small changes. And in this, he is his own character. And I really like what they did with him. Um, something both these characters get around, which is one of my only issues with Street Fighter V, but it's one of my bigger issues. The older characters in Street Fighter V tend to... They don't age very well. Because in, like, Season 4 and Season 5, the devs of Street Fighter V have been having a lot of fun with the game. They've been giving some of the newer characters some really cool, cr cool shit, honestly. But because of that, some of the older characters get a bit left behind, I feel. Like, they're noticeably less interesting. I think these two have gotten around that pretty well. I would rate Nash below Chun-Li. Mainly because, unlike Chun-Li, Nash has not been a good character for a majority of Street Fighter V's life. And I think that's held him back a little bit, because you never saw him as much. Um, but when the game came out, he was... He wasn't top tier or anything, but... He was kind of dumb because he essentially had like an 8 or a 9 frame dash. Um, he didn't, like, it's weird. How Nash's dash used to work is that he didn't move for the first half. He was just like, you know, ugh. Like he stood still and then dashed. And because of that, he just moved stupidly fast and then they fixed it, you know. But that aside, I really like what they did with Nash in this game. His get, he's super fun to play, especially now in Season 5.5. Like, now Nash feels like a, like a character. He feels really good. I love how Nash plays at the moment. You know what, I'm gonna bump him down to pretty good, actually. Yeah, like, the fact that he's not been a very good character for a lot of Street Fighter V has held him back. And something I really do not like about Nash is how he looks. I really don't care for this fucking Hotel Transylvania looking ass shit where he's, like, half zombie. I don't care how for how edgy he is. Like, for me, Nash has one costume, and that's his story mode costume. Where he's just like, he just looks like how he did in Alpha. Um, but I do really enjoy how he plays, even if I don't enjoy all of the aesthetic changes, and he's been held back a bit by not being a very good character, you know? And I like that he shares a lot of stuff with Guile, you know? Um, although they're not as good as the tools Guile has, you know, like his Ford Heavy Punch, and stuff like that. Um... I like him. I like what they did with Nash in this game. Birdie. Birdie's going in pretty good. I love Birdie's gameplay. It's a massive improvement over what he had in Alpha. But man, I don't care for what they did with Birdie aesthetically at all. It's not that they made him fat. That's okay. Like, you can do that and have it be cool. You know? Um, the problem is, is that they, they, made, Birdie, they made Birdie fat... And they also made that his in they made that his entire personality, and I don't really care for that. Like Birdie used to be a thug. And that was kinda neat. He had fucking pointy genie shoes. But now he's just big goofy haha big belly guy. That's that's his that's his shtick. Um, it would be nice if Street Fighter could make a big body who wasn't just a fucking idiot. Or just goofy. You know, like they did it with Abigail, they did it with Rufus, they did it with Birdie. Um, they didn't do it with Hugo in Third Strike, and then they did it with Hugo in Ultra Street Fighter 4. I'll never get over that. I fucking hate what they did with Hugo aesthetically. Even if he's really fun in Ultra, but yeah. That holds him back a lot for me, but I do really like how Birdie plays in this game. He's really fun. So yeah, I have issues. Uh, this one's tricky. Vega is a tricky one, I think. I really like the idea. Of what they did with Vega in this game. Um, I like him being a motion character more than him being a charge character. I feel like it's weird to have this like hyper mobility character be a charge character. Like, like Vega's thing is that he's very fast, you know? And it's weird for a character who like their thing is being fast to be like, oh yeah, you just let me hold down back for a bit, alright? Give me a second, you know? I, I I prefer him being a motion character. That being said, he's kind of got the same issue with Nash, although I wouldn't say to as much of a degree, where he's been held back by not being a very good character for quite a long time. Um, and there are aspects that he retained from, like, previous iterations that I'm not a massive fan of. I don't like that he is, like, kind of the only character in the game with, like, no 
real consistent anti-air. Like, I get that's kind of a part of Vega's design, you know, he's got great normals on the ground, but he struggles to anti-air. And, you know, when you do anti-air with him, it feels very satisfying, like, you know, air throw feels cool to do. Um, you know, when you get a crush counter stand heavy kick, that feels nice. But I do have issues with what they did with Vega in this game. Why does he lose the claw? People pointed this out on my, like, short video on Vega's super. Why does he lose the claw? That- that's stupid. Can you fucking imagine if, like, if Cody got hit a couple times in his V-trigger and he lost the pipe, or fucking- Imagine if Minot lost the orb. If you beat the shit out of Minot enough, she lost the orb. No other character has this. You fucking beat the shit out of Vega. I'm not Vega. If you beat the shit out of Zeku, fucking- if you beat the shit out of old Zeku, he fucking throws out his back and then you're stuck with young Zeku. You beat the shit out of young Zeku, he fucking twists his ankle and you're stuck with old Zeku. No other character has this. It feels just like, it feels like it's there because, oh, that's how Vega does. That, how, you know what I mean, right? It doesn't feel like there's a good reason to keep that mechanic. If Vega just had his claw all the time, I would enjoy it. He'd be up here. Honestly, Vega would be up here if he didn't lose the claw. It, it, it does bug me. You've got a stance switch character who can only sometimes switch stance. I, I, I don't like it. I don't mind losing the mask. I think that's fine. I think it's cute. Um, but yeah, I have issues with Vega in this game. But overall, I think it's still good. I like it. I enjoy him. I, I enjoy it more than Birdie, actually. Actually, I enjoy it more than Nash. Yeah, I like how Vega plays in this game. But I do have issues with it, you know? And aesthetically, you know, he fucking handsome. Uh... Yeah, I don't really have any other issues, actually. Vega, how he looks in this game is fucking great. I like how he animates. It's fine, you know? He has issues, but I like him. Geef. You could argue that Geef is not really a redesign. Like, it's like Chun-Li. It's a pretty minor redesign. But I wanted to include Geef. Because I think Geef might be the only character in here. I, I don't think Geef really worked out in this game. You know what I mean? It's, like, I know everyone goes, where's Green Hand? Where's Green Hand? I want Green Hand on Geef. It's too late, dude. He's not getting Green Hand. But, ah, I'm not saying he needed Green Hand, because Green Hand in Street Fighter 4 was fucking stupid, dude. Like, it was so OD. But you could have made it less stupid, you know? You could have just made it so, like, oh, um, the meatless versions are... Only projectile invincible on frames like, I don't know, 5 to 20. And then the EX1 is immune to projectiles on frames 1 to 20. Shit like that. Like, don't give it hit invincibility. That's dumb. Um, But yeah, Geef feels like he's been left behind a lot. Especially with the recent patch where they got rid of the throw invincibility on EX SPD. That killed him. I think Geef is pretty solidly the worst character in the game at the moment. That was so unnecessary, honestly. It's a shame. Um, I get what they were going for. They wanted to make Geef, like, kind of a tank. Um, but he's, uh, unlike Omega Geef, who was a, also a, oh, sorry. Omega Geef was also a tank, and he was also kind of bad. But, like, he doesn't do that much damage on hit either. You know, he doesn't really feel like he's doing, he's getting, he does get very rewarded for getting in. Uh, d dude, I just don't know. I have issues with this character. He feels way too basic. He feels like a character who's gasping for another special move. He just feels very left behind. I'm not a fan of Geef in this game. It's a shame. Especially with Abigail in the game. Once Abigail dropped, this guy was fucking dead, you know? What does Geef do? What, is, what does Geef have over Abigail in the current version of Street Fighter V? Not a lot. That matchup is abysmal. It's awesome. I fucking hate fighting this character with every every fiber of my being, but I can't deny that what they did with him is pretty neat. He literally went from stretchy guy who does no damage to stretchy guy, stretchy guy with some fun tools and does damage. I kind of like him. It's nice to see Dawson be an actual good character. You know, you don't see that a lot. You know, uh, there are good there are good versions of Dawson. I think he's quite good in Alpha Two, if I remember correctly. I know he's good in Marvel Two. But it's nice to see Dawson be a good character, even if I really don't care for fighting him that much. I'm realizing that I've got a lot of Tekken music in this playlist. It's all good. You know? Dawson is cool. Even if I don't want to admit it. 
Bio is a character you could argue wasn't really redesigned. You know, he's not that different from previous iterations of the character. But the thing with Guile is that Guile's a character who doesn't really change. So the few new things he got in Street Fighter V are pretty impactful, like his V-triggers and his V-skills. And with that being said, I fucking love what they did with Guile in this game. I, I get my shit pushed in by Guile all the time, but I respect the fuck out of it. You know? I don't play this character, he beats the shit out of me all the time. I love it. I think this is the coolest version of Guile that we've gotten. Honestly. Should I put M. Bison in here? Was M. Bison a redesign? Ah, I don't know. He just kind of lost Psycho Crusher. That's it, really. But, like, I, I do think this is the best Bi I, Bison and Guile are kind of in the same boat. I think this is the coolest version of Bison, and this is the coolest version of Guile. You know, that's... You could argue that M. Bison isn't really a redesign. And you could say the same for Guile, but I just wanted to put them here because, like... they ch this, These are my favorite versions of the character. You know? I like them a lot. Balrog. I really like Balrog in this game. I think it's pretty neat. I know not a lot of some people don't really care for what they did with him, but I love this character. He's super fun to play. He feels very kind of uh, he's just a very footsies kind of character, except when you're not. <laughs> yeah, he's he's a footsies character, except when he isn't. You know, sometimes you just want to fucking rush punch, and that's fine. I don't know. I really, I actually, I really fucking like Balrog in this game. I might be biased because I play a lot of him. I think they did a great job in him in this game. He looks fucking fantastic, too. I love his, like, default look in this game. He looks fucking brilliant. I love his animations. I love everything about this character, honestly. Uh-oh. Jury. I I don't care for Jury. And I don't mean Street Fighter V. I don't like Jury in any game. I don't get why people go fucking ape for this character. Her entire personality is CBT. That's it. Um, I just don't really care for her. She's just- Juri is just the fucking Melina of Street Fighter. Where people go ape shit if she's not in the game, and then she gets in the game and no one fucking plays her. You know? Just whatever. Um, how she plays, it's interesting. But, I do think- I, I don't know, is she up here? No, I'll put her in has issues. I'll, I'll put her in has issues. She does. She's been, like, kind of, sort of, low tier. But pretty much since she came out. And her, what, how she plays in this game is a bit jarring. It's very different from how she used to play. Her, uh, like, a special storing mechanic. It doesn't feel like anything that unique. It just feels like a handicap just for her that other characters don't have to deal with, you know? Like, you just have to do this thing to get some pretty good special moves. That's it. Like, not a massive fan. I don't- I, I might be biased because I just don't like Jury. But I do think she got dealt a bit of a, you know, a bad hand in this game. Um. Also, I love how Capcom just do not buff this character. They just let her be how she is. They give her a shit ton of costumes, though. They know what Jury players are like. They're like, you don't want buffs. You don't want buffs. We know what you really want. We know what you want. You want costumes. Capcom fucking knows what jury players are like, like, too well. Uh, should Akuma be on? I don't think Akuma should be on here. This is, for the record, this is my favorite. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put Akuma in here just because he is my favorite version of Akuma. By a landslide. Um, actually, no. No, no, no. I'm gonna put him here, right? I'm not gonna put him in perfection. Mainly because he's not a redesign. He's just, like... He's not that different from previous versions of the character. But he's in the same boat as Guile and Bison, where I think this is the coolest Akuma. I really did not care for Akuma in Ultra at all. Sakura's redesign is mostly visual. Um, that being said, I love what they've done with her character. Man, I'm putting too many characters in this tier. You know, fuck you. No, 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 no. I, I love what they did with Sakura in this game. I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna put her at the bottom, because her gameplay isn't that different. It's her her redesign is pretty much completely aesthetic, but I fucking love it. You know, it really feels like she's matured as a character. Ooh, this is a tough one. Odie is a is definitely a tough one, right? Aesthetically, I fucking love everything about what they did with Cody, like him going from this like criminal but not criminal. Who just doesn't give a fuck about anything. 
to becoming the fucking mayor. I love the idea of it, and I think it's handled really well. I like how he looks. Uh, his animations are a bit jank. He's got a bit of that, you know, you can tell they were learning how to use mocap. Actually, Sakura's going down here for the same reason. Sakura animates like shit in this game. Um, I completely forgot that, actually. Yeah, I do not. Sakura in motion looks a bit sus. And it's a shame. Cody. You know, if I feel like if Cody's didn't exist in Alpha and Ultra Street Fighter 4, and if, if okay. Cody in this game feels like whoever designed him didn't know previous versions of Cody were a thing, right? They looked at Final Fight saw Cody, and we're like, hey, let's put him in this game. Like, it feels like this version of Cody is ignoring, like, Cody and Alpha and Cody and in Street Fighter 4 quite a bit, and then just throwing him in Street Fighter 5. And for the record, I think he's pretty good and he's pretty neat in Street Fighter 5. He's not all the way there. You know? Cody feels like a character who's gasping for another special move, or like another, if he had Crack Kick, I think that would be pretty neat. He feels a little left behind. He's a V-Trigger character. When you pop V-Trigger, he's very cool. But, like, I don't really like the idea that a character is just, you know... They're just kind of whatever until they pop V-Trigger, and then they're a character. I'm not big on that. I don't know. I, I completely understand why a lot of people don't like Cody in this game. I think it's very fair. Um, It's a shame. It's a shame. I love what they did with him visually. But if he had, like, Criminal Upper and maybe Crack Kick, just a few more things to do. Like, when he doesn't have V-Trigger, I think he'd be fantastic. Um, I feel like... I'm gonna put him below Birdie, but I am gonna put him in pretty good. Um, I think it's... I think, as much as I don't like what they did with Birdie and Nash visually, I think it's more important for a character to play more interestingly than look... had them develop, like, as a character. Cody is a fantastic development in terms of character, and not great in terms of gameplay. Nash and Birdie are great developments in terms of gameplay, but as a character, meh, not massive. I'm gonna put G here, mainly as, like, a redesign of Q. You might disagree with that. If you disagree with that, then put your thumb over the screen, wherever I put G, for the rest of the video. There you go, problem solved. Pretend it never happened. G is fucking fantastic. I love what they did with G in this game. He really feels like Q, but like Q, but not fucking dying. You know, I, I really like it. Um, he's a super fun character. He really was the gem of season three. Season three of Street Fighter Five was very bleh, not because the characters weren't cool, but because the everyone was low tier. We didn't get a single strong character out of season three except for G. And even then, when he came out, he wasn't like mind blowing or anything, but it was refreshing. He was really fun, he's got a lot of combos that are very unorthodox, but they're very fun and cool to look at. My only gripes with G is it feels like it took him a while to really come into himself, right? And what I mean by, by that is that there were a few things about Launch G that were a bit weird. Like, why are some of his tools better in level 2 than level 3? Why can he use EX in level 3? And it wasn't until season 5 that those were both addressed, right? Like, now... G can cancel his level 3 specials into EX moves, like he can in, in V-Trigger. That's fucking awesome. Speaking of V-Trigger, I love the change where, like, how much time you get in V-Trigger 1 is decided by what level you were in before you pop it. That's a genius change. I would never have thought of that, but it's so, it, it's so smart, honestly. And, like, the change where recently, very, very recently, actually, they changed it so you can use your level 2 specials in level 3, with light and medium. That's so fucking cool. That's so, so fucking cool. Right, okay. In season two and season three, if G existed in the way he did in the, like, in season five, right? And people were talking about how, hey, it's weird how some of his tools are better in level two than level three, right? If this was season three Capcom, they would go, okay, and they'd nerf level three. They'd nerf level two. They'd nerf his tools in level 2. That's what they do, right? But cool Capcom, you know, season 4, season 5 Capcom, having fucking fun with the game. They were like, hey, you know what would be fucking sick? 
let's just give him all his specials all the time. I love that. I, I it's so cool. It's so fun. He didn't, and and the fact that he didn't need that is what makes that so cool to me. You know, he he wasn't gasping for buffs, but they gave it to him anyway because it was fun. And goddamn, did it pay off. I adore G in this game, and I love how like you know his V skill two. It snuck in, like, a, another reference to Q. I love how he, like, suddenly references Q without, like, giving away too much. Like, it's it's very debatable if this guy is Q. Does he lead an army of Q? I don't fucking know. Does he turn evil after Street Fighter V? And then when Third Strike rolls around, he has, like, this, this Q slave going around killing people, killing his fucking opposition for president of the world? I don't fucking know. I absolutely love it. G is fucking awesome, honestly. But, G is not going to have too long sitting at the top, because Poison, absolute fucking queen! Poison in Street Fighter V is the biggest glow-up. Poison in Street Fighter IV, yeah, she's good, but... I don't know, she's not very interesting. Why does she fireball? Why, why would she do that? That's weird. Why does she do this weird uppercut where she fucking goes... Fucking peach up smash looking motherfucker. It's weird. I don't get it. This this feels like the poison we deserved, right? This is this is Street Fighter 4. Poison kind of felt like Okay, let's make Poison a character. What is she gonna do? I don't know. She's kind of a shoulder, but not really. Also, she has a record. I, I don't fucking know. Like that that's a dumb way to put it, but like I just don't really like what they did with her in 4. This feels like a real Poison, right? Like, the, the whip attacks, the fucking flip kick. All of it is really smart. The, 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 her, both her V-triggers are cool. Um, to be fair, you just picked V-trigger 1 before. Now I think there's not a lot more of an argument to be made for V-trigger 2. I need to play this character more, honestly. I don't play this character enough. I absolutely adore what they did with Poison in this game. She's fucking fantastic. I, I adore Poison in this game. She's fucking so cool. I know a lot of people hate fighting her, and that's fair, but I don't care. Like, you can hate fighting a character and appreciate how they're designed, and that's kind of where I fall in. Well, I don't hate fighting Poison. I would like to pick her up. But, goddamn, I can't stress enough how much I love what they did with the character. And, and, another, another banger from Season 4. Seth could be number one. I don't... Mm, Ah, fuck. These two are too close. These two are way too close. I'm gonna... I don't know, dude. Ah, this is gonna bug me. Okay, let's just say Poison and Seth are equal, and G is in the same tier, but solidly, like, below, okay? That's what I'm going with, right? So G is not on the level of these two, but these two are pretty much tied, right? I love Seth. They, they're so fun. It was so refreshing to get, like, a top-tier DLC. You know what I mean? Like, th this was back when the DLC characters, when they came out, they still weren't good. And then Seth came out, and they fucking absolutely, like... They they, they weren't fucking around. Seth was pretty solidly top one, right? And I, I love that. You know? And then they got nerfed, and then they got buffed. And I think where they are now is really cool. I, I, I love Seth in this game. I know people... J Seth is kind of in the same boat as Poison. People were not a massive fan of Seth in Street Fighter 4. I mean... I'd argue Seth was more unpopular in Street Fighter 4 than Poison was. Um, I think Poison is issue... It's not that Poison wasn't a fun character in Street Fighter 4. I just don't really care for her design. Like, it's weird that she has a fireball. It's weird that she does this... It. I don't get why she was doing what she was doing. I think that's the best way to put it, right? Seth in Street Fighter 4, I get why they did it. It wasn't particularly interesting, in my opinion. They were very fun. Well, I guess... Okay, he... Well, oh. Okay, in Street Fighter 4, he was fun. And in Street Fighter 5, they are fun. I don't fucking know, dude. Okay. I guess what I'm saying is... This is... this Seth feels like a character now. Not just this fucking mishmash like they, that they were in Street Fighter 4. And I adore it. I love that there's little nods to, like, the JoJo fighting games that Capcom worked on. It's weird that there's, like, m references to Makoto, you know, with the axe kicks and the fucking, the fucking uppercut. It's weird, but I, I appreciate it. Oh, and there's a Darkstalkers reference in there, too, isn't there? Fucking Dimitri. 
I forgot the fucking bow after um Oh, what's that called? Is it Mad Cradle? I I don't know. Character's so sick. I love what they did with Seth in this game. Honestly, I can't stress it enough. Seth and Poison, I think, are like two of the gems of like Street Fighter V. And I think two of the best examples of, you know, the devs really having fun with the game. Dan. You could argue Dan is not a major redesign. I don't give a fuck. I adore Dan in this game. Dan goes above G in my opinion. Ooh. Dan sucks though. Dan's not a great character like G. Mm. Dan is held back by... Okay, I'm gonna put Dan here because even though Dan's not a particularly strong character, that's kind of the fucking point. You know? I adore how Dan plays in this game. And I adore how Dan looks in this game. You know? He's so- this- this motherfucker oozing with personality. I- I- and I am all for it. I am all for Dan in this game. He's so fun, he's so wacky, he's so goofy. I love that he has a fucking RNG fireball, because why the fuck not? I will- I will stand by that, like, the nerf to Dan's infinite, the red fireball, is the coolest nerf of all time, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. I absolutely love it. Oh, I love playing as Dan in this game. My only beef with Dan. My only beef with Dan in Street Fighter V. Y'all should have given him the command grab from Street Fighter Four Omega Mode, right? Y'all should have given him the SPD. Cowards. Cowards. Give him the SPD. <laughs> it would be funny. And now, we're going to finish out. I don't know what to think of Rose. I, I genuinely do not. Um, I appreciate that they redesigned Rose as drastically as they did, because I thought she was really, really boring in Street Fighter 4. But at the same time, she's not a very good character in Street Fighter 5. And I think it's okay to be low tier, but I feel like she's held back, because I don't play this character. Like, Dan's a low tier, but I play him. I've experienced him. I see a lot of him, because people enjoy him. You know, I, I, I know that I love Dan. I don't know what I think of Rose because like she's not a good she's a she's she's a weak character that I don't play and because of that you don't see a lot of her. I appreciate that they redesigned her and some of the ideas they had are really really interesting, but it's hard to say, right? It's hard to say. Um, I I I I, I ugh, it's hard to yeah. I don't know what I think of Rose yet. We'll have to see more. Now that's it. There are a few other characters I want to point out, just because, you know. Um, you could argue Blanca is a redesign. Not really, he just got a command grab. I don't really give a shit about Blanca in this game. I would, uh, fucking... Tell you what, we'll th let's just throw in all the characters who are like... No, actually, let's not do that. I was gonna say let's throw in all the characters who are like, a tiny bit different, like Ken. I guess Ken can go in. Ken's a really fun character, but I feel bad because he looks like shit. Like, damn it, dude. I would play Ken. I would play Ken if he didn't look so fucking stupid. <laughs> uh, it's just his face. It's just his face. I love his outfit. I love how he plays. I really appreciate that Season 5.5 really, like, fixed a lot of the inconsistency issues he had. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm gonna leave Ken out. It doesn't feel right to tear a character just because they look gross. Is there anyone else I'm missing? Ibuki wasn't really a massive redesign, and also I don't know much about Ibuki. She would just go in here. Although I must say, I do not like how she looks by default in this game. Her default outfit, I think, is pretty dumb. You could argue Kage is a redesign of Evil Ryu, and in that situation, I would put Kage here or here. I can't tell. Um, Ryu goes here because, because Ryu's battle outfit... The fucking, the sexy Ryu, where he's got the beard, and, you know, he, he's got no shirt, and his fucking ripped-up pants. That should have been how he looked by default. That should have been how he looked by default. They pussied out, and they gave him a fucking basic-ass Ryu outfit. Bad. Bad Capcom. Bad. I'm upset about that. I don't even play Ryu, and that bothers me. Did anyone else get redesigned? I, maybe Karen Kareen got redesigned, but I don't know anything about Kareen. So, you know. Mika, uh, Mika's cool, but I don't know enough about Alpha Mika to really say. I think it's unfair, too, because she was dog shit in Alpha. So, like, of course it's an improvement, you know? Honda, was Honda really a redesign? Not really. Nah. Honda's cool. I think it's the coolest version of Honda. But, like, you know, 
I don't particularly care for Honda that much. So, let's look at this. Is there anything I would change? You know, I'm going to move Sakura down here. Um, just because these... Wait. You know what? I'm going to put Sakura here. I and mean, here's my ex here's my reasoning rock here's my reasoning why okay Cody is a character who aesthetically develops fantastically but I'm not huge on the gameplay Sakura is a character who aesthetically develops fantastically same vein as Cody but instead of having meh gameplay their gameplay is mostly the same and I think that means it makes sense to put her at the bottom of this tier I think that makes sense that being said she animates like shit bit crusty but this guy's also a bit crusty so i think that's fair but yeah that's my take on all the redesigns in street fighter 5 let me know if i was man i'm very generous i am very very generous check that out fucking jury ch chilling out on our own gosh could i move any of these fuckers i guess not really i'm pretty happy with where everyone is yeah I i'm happy with this I, I i i might be biased because again i adore that street fighter 5 shook up the characters so much and I understand a lot of people really don't, you know? Some people are like, I want my character to be my character, and that's completely fine. I got nothing against that. But this is how I feel. This is my list. You know, I love how Poison and Seth play in this game. I think they were great developments on the character. Dan is sick. G is sick. All these characters are great in their own way. These characters have a lot of things I enjoy about them. But there are certain aspects that drag their design down to me. Jury's whatever. If... Geef is a bit crusty. Geef is crusty. So yeah. Uh, sorry if this felt a bit over, all over the place, but I really wanted to do this because it just it, it's an idea that clicked with me. And I was like, huh, that'd be fun to talk about. I, I'm sorry if I didn't have that much interesting to say other than, hmm, yes, I like them. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. But, you know, that's how I feel. So, I might just, this, this might have just, how long did this go on for? 37 minutes. This might have just felt like me gushing over Street Fighter V for 37 minutes, but hey, it's what you get. Alright, <laughs> catch y'all later. This was fun. And don't worry, this isn't going to interrupt the fact that there's a new fighting game garbage or gold coming. Well, okay, it's a new fighting game gold. The next one's fighting game gold. You know, this is just something fun that I felt like doing in the meantime. So I did it. Bye.